So as many of you probably know, I was at Anime Midwest this weekend. I was only able to go one day, which was Saturday, but that was a that was a good day. This was my first convention. So, yeah, I've never been to a convention before. And I wish I went sooner, and I wish I actually did bring a cosplay, because, oh man, the, the energy of a convention, it's just so different. But yeah, um, I'll start with what I got, I suppose. I blew a decent amount of money. I got an Astolfo statue, an Android 18 statue, which, uh, yeah, that, that kind of was just something I could not avoid. My friend got me to buy a Ram Nessoberry, and because I'm a filthy fucking weeb now, apparently, I bought a wall scroll of Rem and Ram. Yeah. Also, a depressing poster of Sayori that is disguised as happiness. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I saw plenty of pretty pretty neat cosplays. Um, well, there's, I, I, if these are popular cosplays or cosplays that you've seen elsewhere... Don't lynch me, all right? This is my first con, so I'm not really used to seeing what all is everywhere and what's really popular, other than the fact that Harley Quinn and Deadpool are fucking ridiculously everywhere. But uh, I did see a pretty neat Diva Warhammer cosplay, which full armor, just painted different, so it wasn't like, too impressive, but it was still pretty interesting. Um, there was JoJo cosplays everywhere, which I don't have a problem with, because as you know, I, I dabble in the JoJo a little bit. Um, there was a pretty, pretty decent uh, Yugi cosplay, and it was a female who was cosplaying as Yugi, but, uh, you know, she had a wig and everything that looked really spot on, which was what impressed me the most. We talked to her for a little bit, and uh, turned out she took her like three months to make the wig or whatever, but yeah. That was like, it was just... So much stuff. The stands selling things, the workers, the gaming area. There was just, it was, I was only able to be there for one day, so I wasn't able to take in everything, but I did, I did have a great experience. The only issue <laughs> would be the, the amount of furries. <laughs> oh, so many fursuits, so many fursuits. So many fursuits. <laughs> but uh, I did buy, for, even if it was only for a little bit, I bought one of the fucking hentai sweatshirts, the Ahegio sweatshirts. And I wore it for a majority of the convention, but then I took it off and returned it because I realized, hmm, I, I can't wear this in public, otherwise I will be shame. <laughs> and I was thinking about, well, I could wear it to the next convention, but I'm going to cosplay the next time, so... Yeah. Future con-wise, though, I will definitely go to more. I will definitely keep going to Anime Midwest, because it's it's not too expensive, and it, it was just really fun. It's not too big, it's not too expensive. A lot of people there, though, and it's just... It was a great experience. I will probably move on to other cons or whatever. But uh, as my channel grows, and as I have more fans, if you can find me at these conventions, because my tag will always say Fuchsia Butter, as it did when I went this time... But if you can find me, I will gladly talk to you. I will, whatever, whatever it is. I, I, I did just be cool. It's a pipe dream. I know, probably never gonna happen, but that'd be cool. And I'd love to meet any of you guys that watch my stuff. So, um, yeah, <laughs> this all was another not very long video. I've been working on stuff. I know. I keep saying that I'll get more shit out when the. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I, I've got plenty of stuff in the works. I've got a really big video in the works that won't be going on my channel, but if I do it correctly, it may help me a lot, and I'm super excited for it. So uh, thank you guys for watching again. I'll catch you in the next one, and I'll try to upload it as soon as I can.